Hi beautiful people, welcome to Kate Space. Welcome to my channel. I'm Kate from Pixie K Designs. And today I am going to continue using some scraps. So this is obviously inspired by a couple of things. Meg from Meg Journals uh, has just put a video up showing how she made her no so journal, accordion journal for Junk Journal July. Now she's done these before. I've only ever made one and it wasn't the most amazing journal I've ever made. So today I am going to use up some scraps and make a no so accordion journal. So yeah, I'm hoping that it will work out. This is the one I've done already and that was using pretty much all scraps. This is the cover and it is just out of like a matte photo paper box. It's just lightweight and I have made mine pretty much A6. So it's basically 10 and a half that way by 15 this way. I think A6 is 10 and a half by 14.8. Sorry. That's the cover, and I've got my one here to remind me because I did even with great uh, instructions, it's still easy to get confused, even though it's supposedly it's the most simple thing you could ever do, but for some reason I still get confused. I've got a ruler to tear, I've got some glue stick and art glitter glue, and then I've just got a huge pile of scraps here. I've got old book pages, I've got old uh, some digitals, I've got this thing which I'll probably use, I think I've thrown some envelopes in here, I hope I have some book pages and I've got some things here that are like, actually I'm going to start with that one, these are like some uh, signatures I've put together and never used, so yeah I'm going to start with this and I think the key is to just start, <laughs> that seems to be the best sort of way so obviously that's going to be too tall um, I know Meg doesn't measure anything and that is probably a good lesson I'm going to do that and I'm just going to make that my first page I think right so choose whatever you want to be your first piece it can be small pieces like I did a little bit of a patchwork for my first page but for this one I'm doing just a total piece so I'm just going to actually glue it here down this side with my glue stick what I did find with my glue stick because it's quite a big one I got in a bit of a mess so then I started using my uh, glitter glue as well because what I found is I put too much glue on and the other thing is I did have trouble keeping things straight but again when you're working in it you're going to cover it up I am not entirely sure that I am going to use this as my junk journal July I have a couple of ideas that I I'm thinking about so yes it will either be this book or it'll be the other thing I've been thinking about doing so I'm not sure yet um, I need to decide. So how is everybody? I hope you're well. Get your scraps out and let's just start having some fun. And I think that's basically the, the best thing about this is the fact that it's fun. Right, so I'm now going to bend this so that's not properly glued. I need to make sure it's glued right to the edge of the cover. And I did actually have a lot of fun with that other one. And so I'm going to end up with two little accordion journals. That's okay. They'll eventually get used. It doesn't matter if they sit around. So yeah, I want to fold this. It has to fold back this way. So there we go. So basically it goes like that. So I'm going to tear down here and again these tears don't need to be straight. Okay so now we're going to attach something to this 
Um, I think I'm going to keep it pretty neutral. I think. I'm not sure. I'm going to put this piece here, I think. Am I? Or do I want actually something that's a bit more interesting? I've got this lovely botanical piece, but... I do want to use that at some point, but that will need strengthening. Okay, I'm going to glue that one on there. And this is where I got a bit mis messed up with my glue because I started gluing um, in the wrong place. And I did struggle to have things sort of straight. <laughs> but that's pretty normal for me. And then another piece here. Maybe just a piece of... No. So I don't have a lot of patterned pieces. I actually want to see that notes... So I might just glue this here. For now. Like that. And then this one folds this way. I think. See, I've glued it already to there. And that's what I kept doing last time with my gluing. But that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Okay, so this one is going to glue back this way. And try and get that sort of straight. So this is going to be a bit of a problem there, I think. So that's what it looks like on this side. Glue on that. And see so we've got a bit of a funny angle going on up there. So I'm going to use my art glitter glue to glue this to that. That's okay down here. I'm, I'm not worried about that. Um... So we've got our inside front cover, our first page, and our second page. And now I'm going to attach something to this. I'm going to use this pink. It's quite pink, but that's okay. So I'm going to attach this to this. obviously need something along the top there of this page and I do have what do I have Got some brown paper yep I might just use that but then I have to remember that I want to glue it So you kind of have to go backwards and forwards to remember where you want to glue it so that you don't glue your pages together. And I think I want to tear this off about there.
but it is such a good way to use scraps it's just brilliant okay so now we've got that page and you can see that that's sort of not sort of folding as straight as you want as I want it to but that's pretty typical for me and I it did, I mean my other one did end up being okay it certainly isn't perfect not when I'm doing it anyway so I'm going to glue that there and I'm going to glue it along here as well and I might go back and glue these down the other thing is sometimes if you leave things up you can slip something underneath them I reckon so this almost needs to be folded I think this is weak here too so we might need to add some tape some washi tape I've got some washi tape just sitting there for in case that this happens right and I'm actually going to tear this off here I think there and I'm going to use some brown paper I actually got a brown paper bag somewhere. I might use that. Where's that? I put it in this pile. Here, I'm just wondering about a brown paper bag, how that would be. How would that be like that? Does that look a bit odd? You could make that a tuck. Or do we need to just put a little scrap up here? Maybe I'll do that first. Find a little scrap. So yeah, I might just fill that gap in there with a piece of this. So it is an absolute miserable day today. It looks like it's night time here and it's actually, I don't know, three or something in the afternoon maybe. Um, it's, we woke up to just pouring rain and wind and it's cold. It's a real wintry day. Um, so I fed the chooks early today and got them yeah, nicely sort of sorted. So if I wrap this around that way, we could do it this way. Hmm, no, I don't want to do that. Okay, so I might use this. Do I want it up the right way or not? This is going to need reinforcing. It will tear, so uh, or break. But we can do that. Okay, so let's use this as a book page. Now I'm going to glue it on, and then I'm going to do something to reinforce it. I'm not sure what at this stage. So that sort of wraps around. The, the advantage of the glue stick over the uh, glitter glue that I just used there is that the art glitter glue is very unforgiving. Okay, so we need to strengthen this. Um, I'm going to use maybe just some brown paper. So we're getting very scrappy or I have got my brown tape somewhere back here. so that's a very patchworky piece but does it matter no we we'll cover it up when we do um, the prompts or do some collaging or whatever in it who knows what it will end up 
looking like. I'll just get some water to spray this. This is that paper tape that you um, wet and it's real sticky. So where's our bend? Oh, there's our bend there, so we have to cover the bend. All right. And this, see this hasn't been glued. I'll put some glue under there. And then we'll fold this. And then this another one's gonna come back this way. Had for those of you who are remotely interested, <laughs> I had my injection into my knee on Tuesday. And does anyone out there know anything about PRP, which is platelet rich plasma, is what it is? And I'm gonna go like that. And I've had that injected into my knee. So that's where they take some of your own blood and spin it. So I had that and it's not a very quick fix. Right, I'm just going to glue that on there. It's not a quick fix at all. And yeah, so I haven't felt any improvement i took the dog for a walk on friday in fact and my knee is absolutely bung now it's so sore so i've gone backwards if anything uh, i wasn't told not to do anything i was just told to um well does this need to go that way I'm getting I'm getting lost already. That way, that way, that way, that way, yep. I was told to do if it's achy, if it's a bit achy, that's okay. Uh, so I'm just gonna stick this on here. If it's a bit achy, it's alright. Um and certainly the walk itself was not that painful it was not comfortable but it wasn't really bad so I don't I don't know I just I just don't know okay I'm not loving this part all right okay I haven't done a good job here so this is not a tutorial this is just Let's use up our scraps, part three, okay? <laughs> Do you want a tutorial? Meg did, did one about three years ago. She's done several of her using, um, making these, these things, so. Right, I've got some book pages here so with some, like, like, that's pretty with a butterfly on it. Let's try that. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty disappointed. I'm um, not to take any anti-inflammatories because they prevent they break down your platelets apparently. Oh, that's nice. So yeah, no, no um, anti-inflammatories allowed. That's okay. So I'm just on the Panadol, but actually on Friday night or Saturday was it? Friday night maybe or Saturday night. No, Saturday night I took some, or well, Saturday afternoon I took some codeine, uh, not codeine, panadine. Which I don't really love taking, but I was just, it was so sore. Okay, this is not going as well as the other one. <laughs> That's typical, isn't it? That's okay. Oh, I love this. I've been holding on to this piece of paper here for since forever. So I'm going to use that to 
go to that edge there. Alright, so I'm just going to go like that. Yeah, so oh, I don't know. I do. I fill out another form in six weeks. That just basically is like a pain. It's a, like a pain score. A knee osteoarthritis. It talks about pain, mobility, quality of life, and all those sort of things. So I do all that. And um, gosh, the. This glue is okay. I'm going to take that right to there and I'm going to wrap it around. But I've decided to keep my own record, especially after it being so bad yesterday and today. I'm sort of keeping my own sort of record as well to see see where we're heading and then I'm sort of doubting my life cho choices at the moment I sort of feel like maybe I should have um let's see I should have had that lower I wonder if I can take that down <laughs> I'm having a bit of a mare a bit of a mare it's good keeping these mistakes in because then you guys won't do it right there we go um Maybe I should have just gone for the quarter, you know, the steroid, the corticosteroid instead. That would have been um, pretty much sort of instant relief. And yeah, but I didn't. So, isn't this a beautiful butterfly? Okay, so we have the inside front cover, page one, page two, page three. We've got lots of stickies going on, but that's okay. We'll. We'll get past that. One, two, three, four, page five. It's an interesting page. Page five. Okay, let's do something else. I love this paper, but it's very fragile, and I'm not sure it will manage. That will cope so shall we go with this one yeah so that's my woe is me story sorry that's pretty boring but it is what it is it's a huge reality for me at the moment So I have asked David to have a look at my bike because, you know, all, all the experts say I should be riding a bike. I don't really want to, but that's apparently what I should be doing. So maybe that's what I will do. <laughs> um, now I had some little envelopes somewhere. Let's see if we can find those. I have a huge pile on my desk that's just a huge mess not that good but I've got that little envelope that I made I've got a tag greeting card I want to use this and this don't know where I've put my envelopes okay here we go here's some more interesting paper So that's happening lots of sickness not in my family but um, yeah my daughters are having you know with their children having to work and then their children in daycare having the, the sickness and then the adults in the family catch it and everyone's just miserable so oh, I remember that so well trying to look after your kids when you're feeling so ill it's a long time ago for me now but it certainly happened with a reality at one point that's a big cross over there but I guess it oh see, then you're not going to actually see most of that so 
So if I tear that, let's see what that looks like. Oh yeah, quite like that. There we go. That's what we'll do. This is a great a great project for us um, overthinkers to actually really force ourselves to stop that and enjoy the process of just playing with paper and oh yeah see that's gonna fold now oh well it's fold it's folded all right <laughs> um yeah an experiment with some papers something else I'm going to try and glue that down though I don't know how well that will work it's a bit lumpy um, what else have I got here got some lovely foxed paper I've got this lovely um, greeting card I'd like to use Perhaps not there. I've got some Florentine paper, which would be nice for a little pop of colour, wouldn't it? What's, what does it look like if we put it on that side? That makes for a very plain page here. So maybe we... <laughs> My folding is not going all that well. glue it down this bit here okay so yeah my pages are becoming very neutral which is fine because we're going to to work in them at a later date and we can add sort of colour and interest and stuff to them at that point, I guess. Oop, see, we're on a bit of a, we're not very straight there. So I don't know if that piece of paper wasn't straight or whether I haven't, you know, whether I've not folded it straight. Yeah, we've got a bit of a thing going on there. Sticky outfit. Oh well. What shall we do here? I'm going to glue that on. edge here yes I think we're having a little bit of a problem with our wonkiness I think it's because I'm talking um, and doing this at the same time and so I think we, we may have some issues <laughs> that's okay right I think I'm going to go with this behind here attach this to this I've no idea what this is going to end up looking like I think it's going to be quite interesting yes ok 
Okay, and then we need something in here. So I think I'm going to use this book page. This French book page. So I've sped the rest of the video up because I spent so much time sort of faffing around and as you can see I've got this wrapping paper here that I'm adding to the journal. I apologise now for being slightly out of uh, view in the um, camera view. Um, yeah, so I found a piece of this ledger paper that I've added at the top and now I'm raffling around for something else. I've got this little bit of tea stained note paper which I've used here and I'm just folding that that back and trying to glue it straight uh, using the glue stick um, and try not to make a mess. I then found this piece of old music paper which I'm adding and yeah I had to wipe some of the glue off there as you can see folding this through I had this old, very old piece of ephemera that I've had lying around for a while and I really wanted to add this Tim Holtz die cut that's got the, uh, it's got tea dyed vellum behind it and I really wanted to use that so I kind of start faffing around with that and I add some art glitter glue at the bottom and manage to, to glue it on here. I don't know whether that's going to end up being a tuck or, or what it's going to be. But anyway, that's that. Uh, this is my very first voiceover, and I'm not sure how it's going to work out. I had some Tim Holtz scrapbooking paper. I think it's a 6x6. Six six. Decided to use that. I kept trying that blue thing, and I just couldn't get it to work. I had this really cool paper here, which is kind of like a from a book of uh, copyright-free frames and labels, and so I've used that there. It's the first time I've used anything out of that book. I've wanted to use it for a while. So some more book page added in here. I think that's quite delicate. I might have to go back and reinforce that. And I had this envelope that I've made and I've stuck that in there. Now that needed reinforcing and had to use some washi tape there. Then I had this copy of a French check that I have and I've photocopied that and I love the colour of it, so I've used that there. And I'm just sort of trim it, folding it and trimming it to fit. As you can see, the envelope did end up being a little bit wide and I had to bend it because it is, hand, it is machine sewn, but it's all right. I've used some more washi tape to fix that. Washi tape is fabulous for all those sorts of things. Right, and I'm just having a little sort of flick through here now and looking at, at what it looks like it's it's not too bad it's pretty wonky and i actually did do some trimming up of it to try and make it look a bit straighter then i think i'm going to put the back cover on or i'm just having a little bit of a play around with that then i want to put something to fill in that gap at the top so i'm using this scrap of a digital up the top there and just using my glue stick to glue it glue it in and then I basically fold those two pieces over yeah so that's pretty much going to be the the back of the book so I'm nearly done and yeah there I am with my back cover okay so as you can see I have my front cover, inside front cover, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I've got seventeen. Wow, that is so wonky there. Oh, well. And now I'm going to stick this cover on here. 
and for better or worse that is going to be the back cover I feel like this one really didn't go as well as the other one but it's not perfect no it's not perfect at all is it interesting yes it's super interesting and the thing I keep forgetting is that it can be opened out like this to make life easier so um, yeah that's what I keep sort of forgetting is that that's the whole point of this is that it's supposedly easier to work in because of this ability to open it out and I just keep forgetting about that so okay so we come right to the back what did we say 17 and then there's our back cover that opens out it's a little bit skew with but that's okay I think because it's for me um, this envelope didn't quite fit in. I thought it was going to be the perfect width, but it's not. But it's bent there fine. Um, now I've just realised I need to lift that up like that. Yeah, so we'll see what happens with that as we, you know, as you work in it, it will, um, it will change so dramatically, won't it? So, yeah, so there we've got more than 31 pages. So if you wanted to do a double spread... You could. So there we go. There is our accordion journal. We've used heaps of scraps. We've possibly made a few scraps as well. Um, so yeah, so we will use some scraps to do decorate these covers in the next video. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if any of that was helpful. I hope it was. Uh, certainly that you could have learned from, from my mistakes. If you enjoyed or learned something or just feel like it, it would be great if you could subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. It would help YouTube find other people who might be interested. And I will see you again soon in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye.